Okay, I'd like to call uh, to order the uh, Finance and Operations Committee um, meeting of the National Board of Education, Tuesday, October 9th, 2018, at 6.45 p.m. We're in the Nashua High School North boardroom. Um, roll call, Mr. Mosher? Yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Porter? Here. Uh, Mr. Mosher is joining us by telephone tonight. You are by yourself, sir? I am. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Garino is here. Other attendees, we have um, Ms. Dottie Oden, um, Ms. Van Twyver, and we have uh, Dr. Mosley with us, Mr. Donovan, Dr. McKinley, McKinney, I'm sorry, Ms. Fitzpatrick, and uh, Ms. O'Gara is also here with us. Okay. Did I leave anybody out? Ms. I'm sorry, Ms. Timmons is also with us. <laughs> okay, so um, on our agenda, we have uh, first is the MS-22 report. Um, I'm going to turn the I'm going to turn the uh, floor over to Mr. Donovan. Okay, there are, in the package, there's two reports. The first one is the MS-22. Uh, these two reports you'll be receiving more in the next week or so um, are the year-end reporting required by the state. Uh, some of these reports are used for different reasons, but it's a requirement of the district to get all these reports in before they will set our tax rate. And we all want to know what our tax rate is. So therefore, City Hall will be bugging me sometime next week to say uh, they all signed and up there. But to explain, basically, these, these first two are the, the, more, the easier ones to explain. The first one, the MS-22, that is um, a report of our budget. Um, it includes other things, um, but it's, it's the budget, let's call it this, it's the budget defined by the state. Now, if you look at the bottom, you will see that the total voted appropriations is 166322000 If you were to go to the city budget book, you would see that the total there was $146,672,000. And the difference, the items that are in the state report that are not in the city operating budget book report are the special revenue funds, which is $6.2 million, there's 10.2 million of debt, principal and interest on our debt. Um, there's 100,000 of capital improvements. There's indirect costs allocated to us from the city for variance insurances and legal help and things like that. Um, so those numbers add up to about 19.6 million. When you add those numbers with the 146 in the budget book, you'll reach this 166. So that is the correct number uh, per what the, the state would like us to send to them. And then you'll also notice that there's three columns. So what we do is we spread these, the, the budget items over elementary, middle, and high school. So, um, and basically, you know, so if you're an elementary teacher, you end up in the elementary column. The benefits for the elementary teacher would also end up in that column. Um, so basically, we do it. We do that by whatever the um, the coding for the school is. If it's an elementary school, it goes in there. Middle, high, etc. Um, and then what we'll do with the other costs that are sort of central office costs is we'll allocate those based on payroll cost. So that is the first report. Does anyone have any questions? Yep. Ms. Van Twyver. Um, even though. Um it, the date on this is from July 1, 2018 to July 30th, 2019. This includes the budget that we passed this spring? Yes, that's what this okay. is. And then on the page two of four, um, the first section there, regular programs, special programs, and vocational programs, do those that are um, salaries and benefits? That's, that's what most of that is. It's also supplies and but things like that. But that's included in there. Exactly. Okay. And then under general administration, other school board, 
98,540? Yes, that? that would be Jackie Waters and any benefits she might have and the stipend paid to the school board members. Okay, I forgot about Jackie. Don't forget Sorry, about Jackie. Don't forget about Jackie. I don't forget about Jackie. She's a worker bee behind the sea, behind the scenes. And then under fund transfers to other special revenue, it's six million two hundred and three thousand. Um, yeah, are those to our accounts that we stick money away for? In a sense, it's the <clears throat> security reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's the. Um, it's all the various special revenue accounts added together. So that's the revenue and the expense for all the special revenue accounts. Special revenue, okay. And so the $19.6 million that you talk about is a, are city expenses that apply to us. Well, they're- Those again for me? The, 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 the difference between the 166 and the 146, let's right. just call that 20 million, the 146 does not include that 6.2 million you just spoke spoke of, the special revenue funds. That's not in the 146, so you add that to it. Then there's the principal and interest. Um, see where it says other outlays, debt service principal and debt service interest, the 10.2. That is not in our operating budget. It's okay. in the book, but it's not in our operating budget. Um, okay, the, I see. Those are the figures that you were make up the 19.6. Exactly. I see. Exactly. Very good. That's all the questions I have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Van Twyver. <clears throat> Anyone else? Um, Mr. Moshe, do you have any questions or comments? No, and it looks perfectly clear to me. Okay. Um, I just want to make a note that Ms. Raymond has joined us. Um, Mr. Donovan, are you looking for a motion to accept this, or is this for information? No, I'm looking when we're done for you to sign it. Okay, <laughs> sure. Okay. All right, if, if there's no more comments or, or questions, um, did you want to talk about the MS-26, or you did that all together? No, I, I'll speak to that next. Okay. So the MS-26 is the second state report. This is also a budget report. And what this one does is compare the current year budget that we have now to what last year's was. So this year's budget is 166 million, as you saw in the MS-22, and last year's was 100, rounded 163 million. Um, so it's the same report um, as you saw in the other, the, the appropriations for this year is exactly the same as you'll see in the other. Instead of breaking it out by elementary, middle, and high school, it simply compares it to what it was last year. Then on the, the third, actually it's the fourth and fifth pages, these are all the revenues, okay? So part of our, an important part of the whole tax setting process is we get revenues. Um, so we budget the revenues each spring. We will then, there'll be another report that we'll finish next week where we, we finalize the revenues because we have more data now about what the actual revenues will be um, now than we did back in the spring. So these are the various revenues that we collect during the year. Uh, to give you an example, uh, if you look under federal sources, you'll see 1.7 million. That's the Medicaid dollars we get from the government. Um, and then there's various other revenue items. You'll notice that you also see that $6.2 million of special revenue funds. They consider, the state considers that a revenue too. Um, but since it's a revenue and an expense, it doesn't change the tax rate any. So that's what that page is. And uh, page five is simply a summary of those items. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. Um, does anyone have any comments? Uh, Ms. Ms. Oden? I have a question. The state had a Keno bill for kindergarten. Have we seen any of the, that money, or when would you expect it, or when should we expect it? We'll be getting our first kindergarten payment um, in the next couple months. So the first payment is this in this school year. That wasn't estimated in here at the time because in the spring we didn't know if it was coming or not. But when we, 
like I said, we'll give you the, another report that you'll see next week. We'll have an update on the revenues, and that number will be in there. Okay, thank you. Ms. Ventwiver. Is it one lump sum a year, or is it portioned out over the, over the year? Uh, I don't know for sure. I think it's one payment a year based on last year's headcount for kindergarten. I'm pretty sure, but I can, I can have that answer next week. Okay. Um, so you, you have a copy of uh, the page that certification. Um, do, you have, do you have the master that we signed and, and are you going to pass it around for us to sign? Or how, how are you going to accomplish that? Yes, I have the two. These are the originals. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Oden has signed them and then I'll have you sign them tonight. As long as I have a majority of the board, I can then send them in. So we need to get them up to the state so we can do that tomorrow. Okay, great. Uh, Ms. Raymond? Did you have a, no? Okay. Um, I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one more? Sure. So, if I wanna know what the total cost of running this district would be, it would be 166 million. That's how the state would define it. If you wanted to ask me, yeah. I would tell you that there's um, the 6.2 million of special revenue funds, yeah. that's revenue that comes in from the outside, costs that go, they equal each other, so I don't consider that a cost. So I would say it's the 166 minus the 6.2 plus the grants, which aren't in any of the state reports in the budget. They don't have, in the budget reports, keep in mind, this is a budget. They don't include the grant. It's not the cost of school, it's the budget. So you can't, you can't look at this and say that's the total cost. But if I were to, t if I would take that, subtract 6.2 6 million, add 13 million, that's pretty much so the dollars spent in the school district. So around 173 million. Exactly. So when we talk about our operating budget of being 102, 106, whatever, million? Well, it's 110, really? that's the amount proved by the BOE. Yeah, okay, 110, it's really not, a true picture of how much it costs, and that is supposed to run this district. And I suppose um, that doesn't include all the volunteers that work that we get for free, or all the donations that we get. No, that wouldn't be included in. So that, that would be. So we're pushing up closer to 100. What was your figure you said? Closer? About, one, about 173. You're 173. right. 173. So it could be almost two, 200 million to run this. Well, if you want to As assign values to volunteers, et cetera, sure, but well, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, it's free. I've never We're done not that. paying for it, you know? True. So True. thank you, sir. I've been looking for that number for years. Okay. Okay. Anyone else have any questions or comments? Mr. Donovan, thank you very much uh, for all your effort that you put into this. I know there's a lot of work uh, that goes into this, and... Um, Afterwards, when we get a break, we can, I, I will sign. Did you have something else to add? Well, I have the third item on the. Oh, okay. So the third item um, on the agenda is a resolution. Um, we received in this year's budget only $100,000 for capital improvements. We, if you spoke with Mr. Smith, he'd tell you you need a minimum of 600000 per year just to keep up with the, 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 the items needed to uh, keep the facilities in reasonable shape. So during the budget process, working with the aldermen and the mayor, they said, well, maybe we can put, maybe we can take some of the items you really need and bond them. It would require that they, they have a 20-year life because we're not gonna bond things with the short life. That doesn't make any sense. So put together over at City Hall is this resolution, um, number R18077, um, and it basically authorizes the mayor and city treasurer to issue bonds not to exceed the amount of $380,000 for f various school improvements. Now the four school improvements that uh, this bond will cover is resurfacing the Amherst Street School Playground, and that's an estimate of 90,000. Uh, 
roof replacements, partial roof replacements at Bicentennial Ledge and Amherst Street. That's an estimate of 125,000. Um, replacing the emergency generators at Bicentennial and Dr. Crisp. Those are two, as well as Nashua South, those are um, city shelters in case of emergencies and um, those generators. It wouldn't make much sense to have a shelter with, with no heat or lights. So to replace those is an estimate of 85,000. And then recently this, this building, um, when the students came back to school, one of the chiller motors broke. And that basically runs about half the air conditioning in this, this uh, facility. And so to fix that, that's about $80,000. So those four projects equal $380,000. What I would uh, like tonight is, a, res is, is a, a, a motion by the board to approve this resolution. Um, and then it can move forward to the Board of Aldermen. Uh, the Board of Aldermen, uh, Alderman Dowd has already put it into, the, into their agenda, but we typically we get a uh, approval by the Board of Ed before we move forward. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. Um, Ms. Van Twyver. I have a question about how bonds are issued. Uh, are, are they issued for the 20 years? Would that be because of the life or it, how, how would it's up to that? the treasurer at the city um, typically it'll start with 20 years sometimes if rates are low sometimes they'll put bonds together actually yeah the, the, since the city has a reasonable amount of money in reserve we typically don't buy the bond until the project's done some places need to to sell the bond actually sell the bond receive the funds and then use it to pay for the projects. Since Nashua has enough money, 380,000, we would probably begin to expend the funds, then we would sell the bond and replace those funds. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't take us longer to pay back than the, the life of each of these. Right, no, it, it wouldn't. Occasionally, they'll pay off a bond sooner. If they can, just like a mortgage, if you can get a better deal, they'll, they'll do that at times. They probably, you know, they were doing that the last few years when rates were low. Now that interest rates are increasing, they probably won't do that anymore. Our treasurer is very good at selling bonds. Yes. We've Thank you. We've been successful in that endeavor. Is there any, are there any other questions? Does any, anyone else have any comments? Mr. Mosher? Uh, my, uh, my only comment is that it's a wise move to uh, uh, bundle these uh, things together and uh, go with the bond because it uh, allows you sometimes to get a better interest rate rather than going at it uh, piecemeal. Thank you. I want to thank Mr. Donovan and also uh, Mr. Smith for putting together our capital needs list. Uh, he has been, both, uh, this has been to our committee before, I remember. Um, so we've seen, we've seen some of these needs before. So I'm, I'm glad we're finally moving forward. And uh, Alderman Dowd and Alderman McCarthy also uh, deserve credit for, for working with us uh, in the joint committee and working with uh, Mr. Donovan and Mr. Smith, prior, prioritizing some of our capital improvements. So if there aren't any more uh, questions or comments, I'm going to move to accept uh, I'm, I'm going to move to authorize resolution R18-077. Second. Ms. Porter, second, okay. Okay, on the motion, uh, Mr. Mosher? Yes. Ms. Porter? Yes. Mr. Garino votes yes. Did, did you have any questions? Uh, no, okay. Um, motion carries three to zero. And with that, we are at the end of our agenda for the Finance and Operations Committee meeting. Um, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Okay. Second. So, okay. Um, on the motion to adjourn, Mr. Mosher? Yes. Ms. Porter? Yes. Mr. Garino votes yes. Motion carries three to zero. We are adjourned at 7.05 p.m.